The president of Finland said that Turkey could drop its objections to Sweden and Finland joining NATO. Sali Nienisto said some positive progress had been made in negotiations between Finland and Turkey over a potential stumbling block to the Scandinavian country's accession to the alliance. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan has accused Finland, and Sweden in particular, of harboring Kurdish terrorists, which he claims jeopardizes the two countries' suitability for NATO membership. However, several members of the alliance, including Germany and the US, have said they do not recognize the alleged militias in question, namely the PKK and the Kurdistan Workers' Party, as terrorists. NATO leaders are expected to call on Erdogan this week to lift his veto of Finland and Sweden's offer to join the military alliance. The leaders will meet for a three-day summit as the West seeks to send a message of determination to Russia and China. Nianisto added today that there was a better understanding between the disputing countries this week. Turkey reportedly sent written demands to Finnish and Swedish officials before their meeting. Erdogan said the two candidates must consider Ankara's concerns if they want to become NATO allies. Contrary to Nianisto's comments, Turkish officials said that the Nordic country's response to their complaints was unsatisfactory and that they would block their applications if their demands were met. Speaking before leaving for the NATO summit in Madrid, Erdogan said, We will hold these quadrilateral talks together and see where they come to. We don't want dry words, we want results. We are tired of passing the ball, he said. Erdogan said he will explain Turkey's position to allies at the summit and in bilateral meetings. He added that he spoke with U.S. President Joe Biden and they would meet, at the request of the U.S. President. He said he would discuss Ankara's purchase of S-400 systems from Russia, which led to U.S. sanctions, and a request to buy 40 F-16s and upgrade kits from Washington at the meeting, as well as other bilateral issues. Ankara argued that it was forced to buy Russian weapons because its allies were unwilling to sell its NATO systems on satisfactory terms. Asked whether Moscow's invasion sheds new light on Turkey's S-400s, Alliance Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said it shows the importance of NATO allies not being dependent on Russian military hardware.